forget to like, share, and subscribe if y'all don't pick my sign up. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Hello, everyone. I hope this video finds you in great mental health. Well, we know somebody who ain't in great mental health. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all saw the title and you, you you saw the thumbnail and you read the title. Peach over there talking about she hearing voices. What? Now listen, y'all. Y'all know I've been a clinician, mental health specialist, uh, therapist for over 30 years. And so normally people who hear voices are schizophrenic. Peaches is not schizophrenic, but are you sure I have diagnosed her with bipolar disorder? Of course, I've never met her. This is my opinion based on her behaviors, how she talk and how she act. Now, when someone has bipolar disorder, when they are extremely stressed out and we know Peach is stressed out because her money is funny and her gambling is out of control. And Wood is not going to save her. Wood is not going to do anything but abandon her once she hits rock bottom. And so for some people with bipolar disorder, they can become psychotic. And during the psychosis, they will hear voices. They hallucinate. They're delusional. And it's not anything that la the symptoms don't last forever, like someone with schizophrenia that that never goes away. But somebody with bipolar with psychosis is usually a temporary situation until the till they are medicated, they go in the hospital, um, the stress, whatever they're stressing over. Like, it goes away, it deteriorates, they manage it, whatever. So, Peach is claiming to be singing and rapping, but she's saying that she's hearing voices, and the voices are telling her to end her life. Now, is that enough to get her hospitalized? No. But that is enough to get her evaluated. And so, in Florida, they call it a Baker's Act. Now, I didn't know they called it the Baker's Act. I learned that from over on La La Miss Loretta Brown's channel. Go and check out Loretta. But she taught me that in Florida, they call it a Baker's Act. Where I live, we call it a 302. That's an involuntary hospitalization for someone who's having a mental health crisis. And so... What I would do if Peach was my client or if Peach was my family, I would find out what she meant by that. Do you, are you, okay, you're hearing voices. They're telling you to hurt yourself. What are they telling you to do? And based on that, and if she says they're telling me to drive my car into water, they're telling me to, to you know, use my firearm, whatever, you know, the voices are telling her, and giving her um, a, a plan to unalive herself, then as her family, Tracy, Edward, Drea, Grandma, Auntie, her son, her husband, you can have her Baker's Act. So that would just mean that she would go into the hospital under an involuntary hospital stay, which is usually about three days, and they'll evaluate her. She is putting herself at risk and her children. It's not funny. You know, after she said it, she, <laughs> like, Peach, nobody thinks you're funny. Nobody nobody thinks they're funny. It would be a key key if you was living in your own apartment by yourself and you weren't responsible for seven people, seven children. Tracy, when are you, Tracy, I'm getting aggravated with you, um, Tracy. You have more power than you think. All you got to do is show a crisis team that video, and she would be told, she would have to go in for an evaluation. <laughs> I'm not saying, <clears throat> excuse me, that they would keep her. They probably wouldn't. But, and however, at least you got the ball rolling. You took action. 
Because for some people who who cry wolf, you know, let them go in the hospital for a couple of days. They that she won't be saying that no more after she go up in that in that hospital and she all around people who dealing with some real serious mental health crisis and and not in there showing out because she don't lost a bunch of money and 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 acting out and just being a whole fool. Anyway, y'all, um, mm-hmm. Guess what? I got a sale with me. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like bell. To, uh, subscribe. Hit that like say subscribe to Psychology Eats. Subscribe to Cowboy Eats. Not Cowboy.